is Friday morning, October 22nd, and we have chopped all the corn that we need to chop. We've got this bunk as full as we need it. We have silage left over from last year on this left side. That goes back another 15 feet or so. And uh, that is enabling us to feed out, to feed cooked out feed uh, from uh, last year. We've got BMR in this bunk alongside it. We're gonna start covering this bunk here in a little while. And what we're going to use is uh, sidewalls. And we've got a trailer load here that we're gonna unload here in a minute. It's uh, loaded with just the actual sidewall of the tire. They're all banded together. We don't have a loading dock. So we're gonna be able to reach in with a towel handler a little ways, and then the rest of them we're gonna have to pull out with a log chain. So it's gonna be a fun little adventure. We've got this trailer load here to do, and then there's supposed to be another trailer load on its way. Those sidewalls cost $2.30 a piece delivered. So it has rained a little bit overnight here, and it is actually sprinkling right now. And it's supposed to rain for four or five days here. So it's kind of good to be done. Well, we managed to get 10 uh, bundles off, and now the fun is gonna, it's just begun. We gotta drag these out, so we've done this before. There should be 60 bundles on this trailer altogether. So we've got a whole bunch of log chains here, and uh, we just gotta start hooking on to them and yanking them off. Well, Jared's got quite a few bands hooked together. How many bands you got? Three? Or bundles? We've got three top bundles here, and we don't know how well this is going to work. We assume it's going to break the bands on all them other ones, but we're going to try it. Um, the next thing we're going to try is uh, going through the bottom. The last time we unloaded these, we pulled them off one at a time. And pain in the butt, so... Worked better than I thought it was going to. What that? Four bundles came out? Three. Three. And as you can see, this, yeah, this trailer is stacked right all the way up to the front. And these are uh, 22 and 24 uh, 
inch uh, bundles or uh, sidewalls. So it's um, there's no the only wire that's in these is the actual bead they cut it just before the oh the metal bands right just before where the metal band starts in the tire. You see these things on them highway barrels as well. Actually, there's probably not any 24 fives here. They're probably all. They're probably all 24, 22 fives. Jared, Jared, he crawled in there. You know, we are nothing but just a bunch of monkeys. We're a bunch of monkeys doing what monkeys do. <laughs> you know, remember, it goes in a lot easier and it comes out. Did you crawl in there a lot easier and you came out? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Chain when they all right now we have six bundles got the chain through the right side and then over the top and down the lock so we're gonna see how that works watching it I was figuring that I would give the viewers something to see you know the roof getting exploded off the top of the trailer or just or just have them hit their head you know wonder how many viewers will duck when they watch that <laughs> yeah but the roof would be you now all right what are you doing just taking tops again five, five bundles okay you can't get oh see you can't get down through to sneak the 
to just grab the bottoms. Yeah. Yeah. What I thought we might be able to do is just go through the bottoms with the tops on there, but we can't reach down in to pull the chain up through to move it over. So he's got, oh, what has he got? One, two, three. He's got five bundles here that we're going to pull off the top. So you guys kind of see the idea of what we're doing here. So we'll just continue to hook onto these here and pull them off in there. It looks like this trailer is bowed slightly up on that right side there about a third of the way back from the front there ain't much to these sides on these trailers so we'll join back up with you in a while here once we get the rest of these out of there yeah 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 truck is pulling out and just as we were getting that one unloaded the second truck pulled in so this guy's got his doors opened up as well and uh, there's 60 bundles on each load and there's 30 sidewalls in a bundle so there's 1800 sidewalls here all together now we broke that chain trying to pull out 10 bundles. So we realized we met our uh, capacity on the log chains there. Now these log chains, I ended up buying them on eBay. They were supposed to be 3 8 chains. They're not 3 8 they're only 5 16 And um, I got a hold of the company and I said, this, this is not 3 8 chain. They gave me a Oh, they gave me those chains for half price, and we just use those chains for chaining the skid steers down on the uh, skid steer trailer. So they're good enough for that, and then this, these tires really aren't all that heavy as far as pulling on them or anything, but um, as far as using those for actual towing chains... Um, we wouldn't use them at all for that. They're just not big enough. Maybe for a pickup truck or something. To hook on to another pickup truck. But you need 3 8 or larger. So we'll go ahead and get this trailer unloaded. And then we're going to uh, start in covering the bunk here. Well the second load is just about unloaded. And we've been pulling uh, two rows of five out. 
on this load that's worked pretty good uh, Garrett and Jared have been crawling through the tires and Jason pushes the pushes the chain down through with a bar and then they're able to go across um, go across ten bundles so there's two rows of uh, they're getting two rows of five out Well, we're just getting the second load unloaded here. That guy's gonna pull on out of here. And there is 3,600 sidewalls here all together. So what we'll do, we'll use the telehandler, put these up on the bunk, and then we'll just have a guy with a zip wheel on a grinder just zipping them bands off and we'll use as many of these as it's going to take to cover this bunk it's going to take a little longer to cover the bunk this time because we're having to cut the bands we're using the telehandler and the track skid steer to bring the uh, tire bundles up on top of the bunk and then of course we've got a pretty good breeze blowing here Well, the sun is starting to go down here, and I didn't have a chance to video this right when we got done covering this bunk. But this took us about two hours to get this done here today. It went very easy using these sidewalls. There's roughly 2,100 sidewalls on this bunk. Uh, we had a fair amount of them that we had used on a bunk uh, that's over in front of the commodity shed there corn silage that we put in a bunk last year that we're feeding out now and um, we used those as we had been feeding it along we were dumping them down in another bunk and we've got some of them on here and we've got quite a few uh, left over we got two tractor trailer loads that were delivered here today and i've got another tractor trailer load that's coming here in the next month or six weeks and we'll have them for next year now we have conventional silage in this bunk we have bmr in that one over there this one's not as full as that one we probably could have squeaked maybe another 1500 ton uh, in this bunk here but we just we don't feed as much of the conventional silage as we do uh the bmr the three bunks down below we have uh, second cotton in the newest bunk next to the tractors. We've got BMR in this middle one, and then we have first cotton in the furthest one over there to the right. Now we're gonna put high moisture corn in this bunk here that's next door, and we have first cotton that is in the upper bunk, and then what we're gonna do is we're going to set the hammer mill up on the other side of the wall the ground level on the other side of that wall over there is about four foot lower than the wall we could set the auger over the top of the wall to put uh, high moisture corn in this bunk now there is uh four bunks up top that's the fourth one over and then we've got three beyond that We've got uh, BMR in the next one, which would be bunk three that we put in there last year. Uh, the next bunk uh, next to that, actually no, there's third cotton in bunk three. Bunk two has BMR in it from last year. And then bunk one, we ended up putting uh, BMR in 
uh, from this year, which we're going to go into feeding that next, and then we'll have two bunks empty up top. And then there's a bunk that swings out around the back side that runs in behind bunk two in, in, in bunk one, and we put BMR in that one as well. So we're going to be able to get started on high moisture corn here tomorrow. We've just got a little bit more to do as far as setup goes here. And um, it's looking like everything's going to run rather smoothly here. The sun is starting to go down, so the lighting is probably not that great in this video. And uh, yeah, I probably, probably better shut her down now. So that's going to do it, folks. I want to thank you for watching, and we will catch you at the next video.